My affection for my Kramer has brought me many things on my YouTube channel. Among those things are lots of people who have their hearts set on getting a JK8000, realize they can't buy one, and then they come to me and they're like, hey Kayla, what Kramer do I got? I've had people non-stop coming to me telling me that they bought a Kramer because of me, which is crazy because I, I don't play a Kramer that you can buy off the shelf. So I get asked all the time, what Kramer do I got since I can't get a JK8000? And I have two answers for you, and it depends on your budget. And this video is focused on my first answer, which is for the budget-minded individuals. This is the Kramer Beretta Special. Also, let me just say right away that this video is not sponsored. This is literally just my experience and my opinion and from everything I've gathered playing it on my own. It comes in several different colors, but I got this one in vintage white, and I just thought it looked so cool with the vintage white and the black headstock and the rose and fretboard. It just screams like classic 80s Kramer to me. It also, of course, has my twist to shred sticker, which details coming later if you want one of those. So I play like a ton of new Kramers, and it's like every time I'm in Guitar Center, I go and I sit down with a Kramer, and I try to find a new one every time, and I, I just sit there and I, I see how it plays. I play the new Strikers. I played the Berettas, I played the signature models, I've played the V's, I've played the Night Swan, I've played the Charlie Potta uh, V, I've played basically every Kramer you can find on a Guitar Center shelf. And also these Berettas. And somehow, out of all the new Kramers I've played, these Berettas play the best. Look, I'm no Philip McKnight, so you know, I'm not gonna be able to give you all the technical details and specs and everything on this guitar. But for $179, which is what these are going for, it sounds right now, this is just like a crazy deal. One of the most common complaints I see with budget guitars is razor sharp fret edges because that's like a very common corner to cut in guitars in this price range. Not here. I mean, every time I pick up one of these, I'm always checking out the fret edges and it is just as smooth as any guitar you would find that is like two or three times more expensive. Like they actually took the time to polish all these fret edges, which is so impressive for a guitar that's $179. The guitar just plays really well. I mean, the neck radius and thickness is just like perfect for shredding. And once it's set up right, I mean, the fret height is just perfect for shredding. The saddles have that ability to get really low without giving you any fret butts, which is just a phenomenal ability for a guitar at this price. I really can't say the same for other guitars in this price range, like at all. The paint job's like also really nice. Like I've seen other guitars in this price range and I've just been less than enthusiastic, especially around like the edges of the neck socket and everything. Like it's, it's very well done and it's, and you can tell they, they took their time with the coats and I've just been very impressed with that. Also the back of the neck, it's like, it has a little bit of lacquer on it. It's that good in between that's literally between like paint, playing a bare piece of wood and playing like an overly glossed neck that sticks your thumb. Like your thumb can actually move and you can actually shred on this neck. My biggest complaint with the guitar is the Dremolo. It's total junk. Uh, don't even bother using it because it's literally just gonna knock your tuning out of place. The good news with this though is that it's already kind of routed for the tremolo. So you can pop in a Floyd Rose and some locking nuts and you can have a great guitar with a Floyd Rose for $179 plus the cost of the Floyd of course. And not even have to do that much routing work to get the Floyd in there. So that's kind of a bonus. So if you want that twist to shred sticker, listen up. Order this guitar through Zounds using my affiliate link which you can find below and email me the order confirmation link that you get to my email address right here. You have to use the affiliate link or I won't be able to mail you the sticker. You may or may not get some other cool stickers that I designed too. You will, I mean, you will. After I confirm that you use the affiliate link, I'll get the sticker sent your way. You will have to get a Gibson or equivalent speed knob, which you can get at pretty much any guitar center or Zounds if you need to pick one up. Zounds is the shit, and you should totally consider using them for all your future guitar needs. Using that affiliate link helps me out a ton. Also, they don't spam you with calls on end after you buy something from their super friendly salespeople, so 
that's kind of a plus. The bottom line with this guitar is it's just a phenomenal buy. I mean, for $179, it's such a shredder. It's such a great playing guitar. And I mean, if you pop a Floyd Rose in there, you have a phenomenal guitar that will easily beat guitars two or three times the price. <laughs>